Hey there, and thanks for joining me for a What is in My Peg and All Sendak. You can see the Sendak impressed here on the leather label, gorgeous. At the very bottom it says, A Story to Tell. So this is the full-size Sendak artist roll from Peg and All. I will put a link in the description. They have a miniature version as well, and I have it, so may do a video later on that, but this is the full-size version, the regular Sendak Artist Roll. You can just see by looking at it, the character that it has and the leather of the strap. It is made of a waxed canvas that has a great feel, super sturdy. Look how perfect the stitching is. This is one of my favorite pieces ever for my supply storage. You can just tell by the way it feels and looks that it is going to last a lifetime. And I can't wait to see it age with me. So this is a gray tone. I'll put the name in the description of the canvas. I'm sure gray is not the name, so <laughs> I'll find out the uh, actual product description and list that in the description below. You have the option to get a personalization added of three initials. And I've just added a little enamel pin here on the flap. But as a roll, turn it straight up. This can actually be used on the inside and the outside. So when it's rolled up completely, you get two generous sized pockets. So in the outer pocket, I have my Derwent Ink Tense watercolor pencil set. And then in the front pocket, I keep a few water brushes and two travel palettes. This is a Kuretake watercolor palette and another tiny, tiny pocket palette with some Daniel Smith watercolor and a little paper towel for use with watercolor. So what's nice about this is it allows you to have such a variety of journaling supplies literally at your fingertips. So I use this on a daily basis. It's easy to grab and go from room to room in my home. And when I do leave the house, it always comes with me in my journaling bag. So when you undo the leather strap, it opens up like so. On the far left, you've got this zipper compartment built into the flap. And so in here, I have a little travel bottle of water and a little water brush, travel size. This is an eraser and a pencil sharpener. And I could probably still fit another one or two small items. So this is a pretty generous pocket. And you get this nice flap of canvas that covers the top. Now these items are optional but they are the pig and all. Um, I'll have to link as well to what they're called. I can't remember the official name, but they're kind of a plasticky material and they just give some support to the roll. And if you are worried about materials transferring onto the canvas, they can serve as protection, but you can see I've already had transfer. I, to me, that gives character, so I don't mind if my things mark on the actual canvas, but that can protect the canvas if that's something you're interested in. So you have all of these pockets to fill. I have a Koeko Sport fountain pen in the first pocket, and this I converted to an eyedropper. have a Pentel P205 mechanical pencil. Another mechanical pencil. I believe this is by Pentel as well. 
Yes, this is Graph Gear 500.5 millimeter. I like to use those for sketching for like a rough draft. This is the Hobonichi multi pen. And these four colored pencils came in a subscription box, the Stationery Selection by Mitts. So four colors there for sketching. And I just have a little clip that I use sometimes to hold my pages down. And on the right side, this is a Sarasa gel pen. I have a couple Tombow brush pens, the soft tip and the hard tip. A couple Micron fine liners, drawing pen, another brand of fine liner. And I believe this is a Pitt Artist Pen, Faber-Castell, size extra small. And in this last little pocket, a Tombow Mono drawing pen in the number 03. And then you also get this nice back pocket. I mean, the storage here is just ridiculous in a good way. So in the back pocket, I have a few fountain pens. This is a Twisby Eco. I don't know if it's pronounced Eco or Echo. Another Twisby. And this is a Pilot Vanishing Point. Now this is the Decimo, which is a little bit smaller, more compact than the regular Vanishing Point. And then a couple Mild Liners, Zebra. Mild liner highlighters. I like the gold and the gray. This pen is really cool. This is a Sailor pen that I'll try to link below because I think I may have ordered it on Amazon. But you can see it has the really unique end on the nib. So depending on the angle that you use when you're writing, you can either get a super fine line or a wider stroke. So I really like to use that in sketching. And then the last thing I have in this pocket is a glue pen. So if I'm out and about and want to stick something permanently in a journal or my planner, I have some adhesive. So you can see that just in one roll you can get sketching supplies, pens, markers, colored pencils, um, paint, brushes. It's just crazy and as far as the possibilities. So obviously I'm giving this a good review because I absolutely love it. And I just wanted you to see how much it can hold and how functional it can be for a truly one-stop storage for your art supplies or your planner or journaling supplies. So that is it. The Sendak Artist Roll. Check it out at Peg and All. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.